Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this tutorial on creating an Anki deck out of a Google Translate phrasebook. Uh, before I get started, you should be able to click any of the bullet points here and skip to that part of the video. Um, there should also be links in the description below, if I don't forget. So, before I get into the actual process, I'm going to open up Anki and kind of show you the, the type of deck that I'm trying to replicate. Um, I've been learning Indonesian for the last kind of six to eight months. Um, this all started when I went to see a friend in Jakarta recently and I aim to get sort of a very basic foundation um, in conversational Indonesian and if at all possible be better than him by the time I arrived and I think that was largely successful um, and it was all thanks to this uh, eight module course. It's a free learning Indonesian course um, and it's structured around eight modules, each module with a with an accompanying uh, 500 word Anki deck. So I highly recommend if you're learning any language to sort of find a course or find a set of Anki decks uh, rather than finding just one with 26,000 words in. Um, a bit of structure certainly never hurt anyone. So uh, I'm going to go into module three this is kind of what I do for half an hour before bed each night and whenever I've got a minute during the day including among them um, antaranya di antaranya close enough I'm gonna good so it's giving me first the English and then when I select my difficulty it then gives me the Indonesian along with the audio and this is kind of what works for me to wash, uh, mencuci. Mencuci. What kind of? Apaan? Apaan. You get the idea. Right, so Anki is great for learning vocabulary, but I expect you'll find yourself um, all over the internet sort of trying to suss out how words fit together into sentences. Um, so I've been spending a bit of time on uh, Indonesian language forums and sort of news sites, that kind of thing. I don't really understand a lot of it at the moment, but I like going in there, sort of trying to suss out what the gist of the headline is and um, taking away any words that I don't know. And often I stick those words into Google Translate, and if they prove to be quite useful, I add them to my phrasebook, export that phrasebook, um, and create an Anki deck out of it. So Say I'm on a new site and I come across the word bebe, which means duck. I would star that because it's quite a useful word. And then it'll go into my Google Translate phrasebook, which is over here. Step one, exporting the Google Translate phrasebook into Google Sheets. And you do that just by clicking this button here. Yes, I would like to import the data. Where to, it doesn't tell you, but I'll do then I control A the entire spreadsheet, copy it, and paste it into a new workbook. I just do this because I need a couple of extra cells, uh, columns. The reason is some of these are Indonesian to English and some of them are English to Indonesian. There's actually a Malay one there. I'm just going to delete that. Um, and that's problematic because when you go and create an Anki deck out of these, some will be English to Indonesian and some will be Indonesian to English, some of the cards. So um, that's certainly not what you want. So in this column over here, I'm just going to do a quick if statement. If that equals Indonesian. I want that, otherwise I want that. And I'm just going to drag this down to the bottom. And then, I'll, so I've got all the Indonesians in one column. So now I'm going to do it for the other one. So I'm going to bring the same formula across, but I'm going to change it into equals if B1 equals Indonesian, I want that D1, otherwise I want C1. So all I need to change is that to C. 
I don't know. If if a one, cool. Well, there may well be a more logical way of doing that, but seeing as you can't copy multiple selections in Google Sheets, this is the easiest way I found. And ultimately, we've got our two good columns, which is what we need. We copy these out and paste them into any given text editor. So I've got Notepad++. Uh, all we do is paste the two columns in there and then save that as something like anki111.txt so that's done, that's our Google Translate phrasebook exported into um, a format readable to Anki right, so now now's the fun stuff um, importing that list of words into Anki so first I'm going to create a new deck you don't have to do this, you can just add to an existing deck if you're um, sort of updating your your phrasebook. Name for deck, phrasebook. That works. So I go file, import, anki111.txt. You can see I've done this a few times. Uh, so field one, that'll be our Indonesian it wants to map that to the front and it wants to map our English to the back of the cards um, that's actually the opposite way around the way I want it so that'll work better uh, I'm gonna put it into my phrasebook deck and yep import 37 notes added Oh yeah, that's the number I, I ended up with. I thought I had 50 something. Never mind. Um, so let's test that out before we add the audio to it, shall we? In between. Di antar. Driving. Pungarak. Okay, well that seems to work the way I want it anyway. Except it hasn't got the audio. Okay, the next section is um, using awesome TTS to add audio to our deck. Um, so I'm just going to Google awesome TTS, click on the top link for me. Uh, then I'm going to copy this code and tools, add ons, browse and install, and you paste that code in there and click OK. And then it'll install awesome TTS for you. There'll be a few kind of set up settings that you need to walk walk through but nothing you won't be able to figure out for yourself or Google for help so in order to add the audio to our deck I'm gonna open up browse find our phrasebook deck highlight them all with control A go here and add audio to selected so I'm pretty happy with the Google Translate service although there are a fair few to choose from um, I'm going to use the Indonesian voice um, let's let's test Bebek see what it gives us Bebek Bebek pretty good okay so uh, we've mapped the Indonesian to the back of our cards so our source field is going to be the back and our destination field is also going to be the back uh, we want it to append the sound to the destination and generate cool that worked to treat so as we can see it's added a sound file to each of our each of our cards let's go ahead and test it out shall we driving oh I've forgotten now Bungarak. Bungarak. that's it so that worked Mangamudi. Angkutan. Dinihari. well look at that it's uh, reasonably similar to 
uh, the ones that someone from Hawaii University has put quite a lot of time into. So I'm happy with that. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment or something, and I'll get back to you pretty soon.